Welcome to Vietnam Pavilion. Uh, Vietnam Pavilion is situated in the Opportunity District in uh, Expo 2020 Dubai. And in this uh, district, uh, gathering uh, the uh, pavilions from uh, many countries in the world, uh, which uh, provide you uh, in from, from this side, you can see uh, the, the overview of the pavilions. And uh, we have the three, three story. There's the, like a restaurant up there, yes, right? Yes, yes. Uh, there's a, in the ground floor, we have the pavilion. And the first floor, we have the restaurant. And in the third floor, we uh, they make a very good decoration with 800 conical heads with different colors and very beautiful lights. It uh, will attract the attention from the tourists in the evening. And we also have uh, many uh, uh, screens here to showcase about the image and the photos of Vietnam, uh, the country, the people, the image of our country. And uh, 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 above that, this is the logo of uh, the pavilion with a very beautiful one. It depicts the lotus uh, in uh, Vietnam, lotus flower. It depicts the qualities of the people of Vietnam. Please go inside. This is the entrance to Vietnam Pavilion. And right from beginning, we'd like to introduce very good and interesting facts and figures about Vietnam, such as Vietnam with the advanced and modern economy. Vietnam service are very good and contribute so much to Vietnam economy. And the role of women in the society of Vietnam is very big, very strong. And also we receive a lot of tourism in uh, the past years. Uh, the tourism industry speaks uh, very well and uh, develops very quickly. And the first uh, Asian man traveling to the space is, is Vietnamese. And also we are, in, uh, we are developing very hard in terms of e internet usage. Yes, and please go ahead. What's going on with the internet usage? Yes, uh, for the internet usage, the number of the users are very uh, big, and also the uh, uh, the di dissemination of the user in in Vietnam is very very strong. Also, the number of uh, social media users are very strong because the young people now are paying very much attention to the social media. They want to express themselves in the social media, and we would like to promote also the young and the new Vietnam in the, the social media. What's the most uh, popular social medias? Is it like Facebook or yes, other? Yes, yes, yes. We have all. <laughs> Everything? We have all. But the specific, some very popular yes. in Vietnam? Uh, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, they are all popular in Vietnam. Because the young people now are looking at the way to express themselves, to look at the way to, uh, to, to, to showcase their opinions is very important. Let's and go inside. Everybody has a fast internet for affordable price? Uh, only in big city, for sure. But uh, we are trying the best to uh, widen the number of the people that can access, access to the uh, 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 very high speed internet. Maybe and you need connection yes. with the satellite. Yes, Some of the sure. villages get better fast internet, yes. right? Because uh, in the mountainous area or in remote area, uh, it's not easy to get uh, well to access to the internet but uh, the government and we are trying the best to improve the situation through the uh, project of the government through the project of the uh, private sector and through the international cooperation we are maybe trying to do that starlink starlink yep maybe maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Okay. and uh, on the way to the inside the pavilion we also provide many uh, also the screen with a lot of information in this uh, screen we provide information about the diplomatic relations with uh, 183 countries in the world and uh, with the information and the photos of uh, the activities of leaders of Vietnam and also the participation of Vietnam into the peacekeeping troop uh, from the United uh, Nations organizations and also uh, some image about ASEAN participation uh, because in 2020 we are the chairman of the ASEAN and also at that time we are the uh, we, we are the members of the United Nations Security Council that to express that uh, we are the active and responsible member in the international community. Just yes. peace. Peace. Yes. Peacekeeping. True. Peace. Yes. Just, there's only peace. This is the uh, peacekeeping uh, hospital. Uh, we send uh, two hospitals to uh, Africa to contribute our part to the uh, uh, United Nations efforts to maintain the peace with the stability and uh, helping the com local community to get better health, better treatment with the disease. And uh, this is uh, our effort to do that, our effort to prove that Vietnam is an active member and responsible member in the in international community. Please go inside. And uh, in, uh, we have 10, 10 screens 
provide you very good and interesting facts and figures about Vietnam. This is uh, about Vietnam population. We have 97 million people and we rank number 15 uh, in the world and third in the Southeast Asia. And uh, our labor force is very strong with over 60 of the population aged between 70 and 90, 59. It proves that our, our, labor, our labor, our population is young, energetic, and very dynamic. Yes. And uh, everybody gets free education, free healthcare, everything? Uh, this is our aim, <laughs> our aim to do that. Uh, we are trying to, we provide uh, a lot of, uh, a wide range of services in terms of education to the, to the people, such as the, for, the, uh, for the kindergarten, for the first, years, uh, first year student, uh, the government will support a lot in terms of the fee and we also have provide the high class and luxury uh, training uh, services with the support and the cooperation from international partners yes and uh, as I, I mentioned there's uh, many more information about our smartphone users uh, uh, internet and the social network and we rank number 42 out of 181 so it's, uh, yes. it's half the country has a smartphone. There's still the other half yes, that need yes, one, right? Yes, yes. And it's coming very fast. Yes. Everybody's yes. Connect connected. Yes, yes. And it's also very suitable with the team of Expo because uh, they said that we should connect mice and connecting the future. This is uh, going very well with the team of uh, Expo 2020 Dubai. And we'd like to also to say that we are developing quite well in terms of economic development. So despite of the COVID-19, we are improving our economy very well. Despite of the fact that COVID-19 hit the economy very hard, the government had to do its very best to improve the situation and to kill the, the uh, severe impacts of the COVID-19. And our economic is gradually improved. And uh, we also have a very good love, great love for football with a great achievement in terms of sports in terms of uh, Olympics, in terms of ASEAN achievements. We, this is the first man, this is the first Olympic medals that we win in the history in uh, Olympic uh, Rio. And this is some achievements of the, uh, especially the achievements of the men football team. And also there's some achievements of the, the sports, uh, men as more sport persons. Can you qualify for the World Cup? That's why we are dreaming of. We are going to the uh, final uh, qualifying round of Asia region. Uh, but uh, who we, you have we, to beat? Who you have to beat to qualify? Yeah, we. we <laughs> oh, soon. It's soon yes, the matches, soon, right? Soon. Yes. Uh, this is also our dream to be uh, in the next um, uh, World Cup in 2026. We are also building our very strong uh, under 20 uh, men's football team to prepare for this campaign. It's very big. It needs a very strong squad, very strong, strong team very good players and also very good tactics, many things to prepare uh, for them. Uh, as far as I understand the football, it's important to have international tournaments yes. that uh, the, the local teams participate in. Like in Europe, there is this unfair advantage that there's always the European championships, right? The yes. UEFA, uh, Champions League Champions and League. everything. But there is also Champions League where uh, in Asia, yes, where yes, Vietnam yes. is participating in the Dalda country. Uh, in for the Asia region, we have the we also have the AFC Champions League. It means that the uh, Champions League uh, of the Asia Football Club, and also the uh, champions, uh, also the champions of the National Cup winner. We compete with each other, and we also have the uh, uh, under twenty, under twenty three. A football tournament for the young players to compete so that they can gain the experience and then become competi competitive in the future and also in each country they we ha also have the national league national football league and the lower league so that the, so that the players can improve uh, themselves and uh, also the players can move outside move to foreign country to compete in the uh, in, in foreign country uh, do you have uh, some wins do you win some of these uh, asian yeah i'll show leagues? you yes this is uh, the latest achievement in terms of the Southeast Asia. Uh, we uh, we rank uh, number fourth in Asian Games, and uh, for the recent success is the AF, uh, AFF Suzuki Cup. It means the as uh, the championship for the Southeast Asia region. We won the for the second time in 2018, 
and in uh, the uh, AFC Under-23 Championship in Changzhou, China, we are the runner-up. It's a very big achievement. It's very exciting. Yeah, very exciting, yeah. All right, so uh, big football fan nation. Yes, we are also uh, won winning a lot of uh, tourism awards in terms of the heritage destination, in terms of uh, uh, sustainable uh, and cultural destination, in terms of culinary destination, and also in terms of best golf destination. And recently, in 2021, we won the, also the world best gone destination in 2021 and the Asia leading destination in terms of sustainable tourism. And we are also very proud of our food, our culinary. We are honored as Asia leading culinary destination with the food. And the food in Vietnam is a very good combination of the ingredients, of the fresh materials that bring health to the people and uh, to help people to get better and better. This is uh, also our very proud. Uh, we I, are also very, very proud. I went of to our China food. many times, uh, yes. and I always thought, ah, China is probably the best food in the world. But then I went to Vietnam, and then I said, okay, maybe it's the best food in the world. Yes, is we, it the best food in the world? <laughs> Vietnamese food. We think so. We think, we think so. We provide um, healthy, right? Yes, and fresh. Many, time, many kinds of food. We can offer the very street, very good street food to the food in the restaurant or the street food in the luxury and high class uh, hotel and resort. And uh, we have a variety of products to uh, food to provide to the, uh, to the visitor. And especially in the visit uh, of uh, uh, President Obama in Vietnam, he uh, went to a restaurant in the old quarter of Vietnam and he's, uh, very, he was very excited about the food. And then after that, this uh, restaurant became very famous. And then, at the, and then they even, selling the Obama portion means that the, they use the food to promote for themselves and to promote the, uh, it very successfully. And uh, I'd like to show you a very important part in uh, the pavilion. This is the theater, the stage theaters of uh, the pavilion. We include the water puppetry stage. Maybe we can get close to the instrument. It's yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. You say water? Yeah, uh, this is a, uh, I'd like to show you. This is a water puppetry theater. Uh, it is a very, uh, very special cultural elements of uh, Vietnam, Vietnamese people. Because uh, this is the product of the wet rice uh, country, West Line, wet rice civilization. It means that uh, uh, this will be performed during the, uh, during uh, the, after, the, in the festival or in a special days in the community so that the artists will create the area looks like the communal house of uh, the communities and then they uh, will uh, serve, they will uh, have to entertain the local farmer after the harvest time so that they can have fun, they can have uh, uh, relax uh, sing times after the very heavy days in the paddy fields and uh, for doing this the artists stand behind the curtain here stand behind the curtain. They use the, uh, the stick uh, to get uh, close to the uh, puppet here and then they stand behind the curtain to control the stick so that the uh, puppet can move very smoothly to depict a story. This is a story about the, about the love for the culture, the love for the labors, the love for the uh, country, the love for uh, people and it helps to entertain the local communities. And now at that moment, water puppetry become very famous in Vietnam and in the capital city of Vietnam, Hanoi. We have two very big uh, uh, water puppetry theater attract a lot of visitors and also the international tourists to come and see. And uh, in here, in the stage, we also have a, a traditional musical instrument. For this one, it's called Klumput. It's very, very special. And uh, I think this is a more special one because you you should uh, you you uh, you uh, couldn't you could not uh, touch the musical instrument, but you can create the sound. You use your hand to hit to create the to create the sound by hitting here, so that the uh, so that the sound will come from this uh, this to make it uh, to a very good song. And then this is the the other one. The uh, this uh, all of this one is made of. Uh, the bamboo and a very uh, 
uh, environmental friendly uh, materials. And uh, this is uh, the most special one. We call it the Dan Bow or the Monocore because it has only one string, one string here, but it uh, creates very good sound, very good melodies, and it depicts very well the soul, the minds of Vietnamese people. And uh, this is another special one. We call it Terung. Uh, it's made of bamboo, and the artist used two stick to hit the bamboo to make the sounds. It is uh, in the central highlands of Vietnam. It's uh, very attractive to the tourists. And uh, what is uh, another special thing is that uh, from this traditional musical instrument, they cannot only uh, they cannot only uh, uh, provide the traditional song, but also the international song such as uh, Despacito. It's a very interesting thing. And for the next corner, I'd like to show you is about the outside uh, exhibit. Uh, outside is a very special costume of uh, Vietnamese women because uh, the women will wear outside in the special days of her life, such as the wedding, the engagement, or the festival, or the ceremonies in her life. And that's why outside is very important for women. And each woman often have about three or four sets of outside during uh, in, in her wardrobe. It's very important and uh, they prefer outside very much. And uh, now there are thousands of tailors in, uh, in, in Vietnam. Uh, they are doing the outside and many designers trying to bring the new things, new technique to make the outside special, more special to the women. And uh, coming to the, uh, coming further to the uh, pavilion, I'd like to show you uh, the exhibit of uh, uh, the traditional costume of uh, 54 ethnic groups of Vietnam. And this is the bronze drums of Vietnam and also the uh, dragon head uh, sculpture. These are very special elements of culture of Vietnam. It's, uh, it has a very strong position in the history of uh, Vietnam and also the culture of Vietnam. When talking about Dong Sơn Drum, it means that you are talking about Vietnamese culture. And uh, for this exhibit, this is the uh, exhibit of costume of uh, 54 ethnic group of Vietnam from the north to the south. And uh, they can see, you can see that they are wearing very special costume uh, uh, depicting the culture. And they wear this to, in everyday life, in the working, in the playing uh, the musical instrument, in uh, hanging out together or playing the musical instrument and also playing the musical instrument and doing the labor and going to the petty fields and weaving the costume for uh, the members of the families and this is uh, yeah, for everyday uh, the uses in the everyday life and uh, this is the uh, this is a turun as I mentioned and also very special the other one uh, that I'd like to show. This is for the traditional costume of Vietnam. And there's another uh, very special musical instrument. This is the stone musical instrument. Because the, how, how important it is, it is. Because it's uh, dated back to uh, thousands of years ago when people living in the cave. Uh, the artists discovered that when you hit the, the stone, it makes the sound. And then this has become the first kind of musical instrument that uh, the mankind create. You can see, it creates the sound, different sound. And now the artists have to chew very carefully because not all the stone can make the very good sound for the music. And this is a talent of the artist to do so, to choose the, the, to choose the stone for the music. This is a very good way. And uh, there's another musical instrument that I'd like to show you. This is the gong in the central highland of Vietnam. This is very special because uh, they are used by the ethnic people in the central highlands of Vietnam. Uh, they often stay together in the communal house of the community in which they gather for the festival, for the success of the bumper crop, for the harvest. And then they pray for good health, pray for good luck, pray for the safety, pray for the sustainability. Uh, this is very good uh, cultural uh, activities in the central highlands of Vietnam and uh, the space of Gong culture becomes the UNESCO heritage very uh, far, uh, <coughs> many times ago, many years ago. And uh, after this, we would like to introduce, to move further to the area or the corner of uh, 
innovation and uh, technology and science in the corner in this corner we'd like to show you the latest and the new achievement of Vietnam in terms of science of technology of developments and also sustainability there are two projects that I would like to tell you this is the project of Rens original this is the brand of Vietnam they want to develop they want to develop a speaker or the sports house that use the recycled materials they use the plastic they use the plastic together with the coffee ground and to, to mix it together to make the shoes this is very lightweight this is very durable and this is uh, waterproof and uh, they are dreaming of become some uh, a, a brand who is strong enough to compete against Nike and Adidas and they want to to turn this uh, into the new way of producing the sneaker in terms of sustainability in terms of water uh, environmental friendly in terms of recycling this is a very strong message that they would like to promote to the world and to tell the world that Vietnamese young people are also very cautious of the recycling of sustainability uh, no. this, this, this one? yes uh, this is another one that this is uh, the ST25 this is the Vietnamese rice that won the achievements won the awards of best rice in the world about a couple of years ago and this is the author of the rice Mr. Ho Quang Kua and the rice here is very very organic authentic and it's, uh, it's favored by many countries in the world including our regional uh, countries and also many countries in the world and we wish to to, to introduce and promote this further to the international market and this is our what, what goes into making the best rice in the world uh, uh, they bring mr ho kwang kua bring the rice to an international competition and in that competition uh, there's a group of the judges from international judges from agriculture one from the science one they uh, go together and then they judges many rice that brought to them and then after that they given uh, so this one as the best rice in the world so is these that become uh, like with yes, the water yes, and stuff become, and the perfect amount of water yes. the weather and everything yes matters. because because uh, vietnam is a, a wet rice a cultivation a wet rice uh, civilization it means that we rely and we live with uh, rice and we produce rice very much we are the second or the third exporter of rice in the world it means that we have the strength in rice and we want to turn it into the power that can 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 support the world especially in the in the in the time when they will suffer from drought from the disease from the uh, from the food uh, in sustainability and that's why it's a very good way to promote our strength to pr prove that we are the responsible member of the international communities uh, could we um uh, look at this uh, poster right here oh. and explain a little bit yeah. what you're looking, what you're talking about here. Yeah, right. Yeah. This is uh, some, uh, this is some uh, kind of uh, information, uh, some uh, statistic about our uh, uh, and contributions of uh, the uh, yes of the uh, digital of uh, the digital transformation is a kind of new trend now for not only Vietnam but also other countries in the world in which we use the power of digital. To, make, uh, to, de to develop our digital economy, to develop the digital company, and even the digital government. To so, uh, what, what can people do with the e government? Uh, can they, can they vote online? No. It means that uh, for e-government, it means that they will create the administrative procedure, administrative permission online, so that they can, uh, uh, the citizen can apply for the procedure, for the administrative uh, permission online so that they can do it very easily and it will not take time, it will not take less effort for them and especially for the companies because the government want to use the digital, to use the digital uh, procedure, to use the digital power to reduce the, uh, to reduce, uh, the, the cost and also the effort, uh, the money of the company to make them easier to uh, get to business and that's why this is uh, this also will be also applied to many other fields in, in Vietnam to have the to, to, to have to develop the economy to have uh, to to promote the use of digital of uh, e-commerce and many many others uh, fields that apply the 
uh, digital, digital technologies. It's a, it's a big growth, yes. annual growth. Yes, yes. And uh, yeah, Vietnam is open for all uh, digital high-tech companies to come and... Uh, Vietnam, uh, is, uh, Vietnam is a member of many uh, big regional uh, economic treaty, such as, uh, uh, such as the CPTPP or the R R R R RCEP. This is a very important uh, treaty that enhance the use of uh, technology, enhance the use of uh, uh, technology, the science in terms of development. And we, this is also the policy of the government to look forward to that and develop it in this way so that we can use the power of science, of technology to develop our, uh, to, to develop our country. Yeah, this ceremony uh, is uh, hosted by uh, one deputy prime minister. Uh, it, it is kind of like the key to improving society is using yes, technology sure, sure. in the smartest way. So there's so much more potential, right? Yes. To make everything better for yes. everybody in the yes. country. Yes. yes. This right. is our policy. And right. uh, for the next corner, I'd like to introduce, this is the corner of Francophonie, the French speaking uh, community. Uh, or French speaking uh, uh, organization. How many people speak French in Vietnam? Oh, French is one of the foreign languages in Vietnam, but we are, we are the active member of Francophonie, and that's why we are one of the Asia countries in Expo that work with Francophonie to promote this group, to promote this, uh, uh, this area, uh, to show that how we are involved, how we participate, and how we can. E we can be the members or how we can contribute, we can develop the Francophonie in the international community. Uh, does that also mean that uh, Vietnam has a lot of uh, 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 trade going on with uh, France? For example? We, we have a very good cooperation. They are strategic partner of Vietnam. But it doesn't uh, mean that we only have uh, relations with France. We are opening as the, in the entrance, I show you. We have uh, international cooperation with 183 countries in the world. And uh, many of them are our strategic partner, our comprehensive partner, and, our, uh, and, and, and they, we work very well with each other to promote trade, to promote uh, mutual understanding, to promote uh, commerce, and uh, promote win-win uh, 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 development. And this is very important. And uh, this is uh, what, we are, uh, what we are doing to promote the future of technology in terms of education, in terms of robot. And uh, this is what we're trying to do. Yes. And uh, for this product, this is uh, another, another project that use the environmental friendly uh, material. This is bamboo. This, uh, this is the whole the frame of this uh, bicycle. It's made of bamboo, a very environmental friendly and it helps to raise the awareness of the young people and also the other members of the society that we should go together, you should live together well with the nature. We should uh, go with the nature to make it sustainable way, uh, to reduce the carbon emission. And uh, we, this is also a very strong message. And this company uh, bring this uh, message very well. So bamboo is strong yes. enough yes. for bicycles. Yes. There's a lot of bicycles in yes, Vietnam. Yes, yes. And uh, this company has a branch office in Germany, in Europe. And uh, this is the latest achievement that I'd like to proudly tell you. This is the story about uh, the Nano Dragon satellite. It was uh, the first time that uh, the satellite was built, was uh, produced by Vietnamese people produced in Vietnam, uh, in Vietnam, made by Vietnamese, peop Vietnamese people, made in Vietnam, and it, it was recently successfully launched in uh, uh, the beginning of November 2021 in Japan. And uh, the set satellite will launch into the space to have to get the pictures of our area that are affected by the, uh, by the drought, by the disease, uh, the, so that they can have uh, the government to find a better solution to control the flood or to manage uh, the agriculture, natural resources, tracking water level and many other fields. Uh, Vietnam in the past has some satellite on the space already, 
but this is the first time that we uh, that the satellite was made in Vietnam and made by Vietnamese people. This is a very strong, encouraging achievement from our government, from the Vietnamese people. Because uh, Vietnam is, is doing more and more high tech. Yes, um, yes. This uh, is the, like yes. all the factory, uh, manufacturing, yes. design, uh, everything. Because uh, as you can, as you all know, that digital and high tech is very important because it's helped to improve the production improve the service very successfully and to improve the values of the economy and that's why this is also the trend of the world that are going on this way and that's why we are promoting and we are going on this way we are going on the high-tech way going on the sustainable way to uh, going on the digital way to develop our country and to work with other country in this way too uh, what do you mean by uh, uh, it says uh, touch and Feel. Ah, this um, is the touch screen. <laughs> touch screen, yeah. yes. Yes, And uh, here's some VR. This is the virtual VR. reality glasses that we we put in here. Uh, the photos and the videos of our tourist destination of Vietnam. So that the visitor can try themselves for uh, this destination to to get... Is it a real uh, bridge? Virtual reality. This is the real bridge and very famous in, in Da Nang City. Uh, yeah, in the tourist area, thousands of thousands of people going there uh, to enjoy the sunset, and then it's uh, become the symbol, new symbol of uh, Da Nang City, a very hot destination, uh, and uh, it was uh, recognized by not only Vietnamese people but also for international media. They also like it very much, and they be, uh, they said that this uh, become the new symbol of the youth. And uh, this is kind of like and the exit for, area, right? Yes. In the so exit. what is the uh, design here? This is the corner that reminds you about Hội An, the ancient town of Hội An, and it's a world heritage with the very beautiful lantern and uh, the beautiful decorations in the street uh, with the very good values of cultures you can come here to discover. And um, yes, this is the heritage and with a very peaceful life, peaceful life in the, in the, in the town. And with these, uh, these uh, maybe handmade or yes, like yes, that yes. people get over there. Yes. And so uh, Vietnam, very popular tourist destination, right? Yes, How many yes. tourists do you get? Millions and millions and yes. millions. Uh, in, 20, uh, in 2019, we received 18 million international visitors. And we expect a stronger number in 2020. But due to COVID-19, the number of international tourists decreased very quickly. Uh, but in this year, in November, uh, the government decided to uh, reopen the tourism, uh, international tourism again. In, first of all, in some areas, such as the Phu Quoc Islands and Hội An. And this is the plan of the government to, uh, for this area first, and then uh, everything uh, will be de developed well. We will uh, further enlarge uh, the destination, widen the, this uh, destination so that we can receive more and more tourists so we can come to the point that we can open 100% for the international visitor. And uh, about a couple of days ago, there are a charter fly with a group numbers of 200 Korean international visitors going to Phu Quoc for the visit, for the tours in, uh, in, in Phu Quoc. And also, uh, we also get another group to uh, Hội An for the visitation here in, in Hội An. And this is a very strong encouragement, very strong uh, achievement that we can rely on and you can learn the experience from this uh, project and if everything is good we will further further open more more destination so that the international tourists can come and enjoy hopefully uh, hopefully fully open soon hopefully yes and uh, once i i flew to uh, ho chi minh city and it was very affordable flight to get there yes and then from ho chi minh to Fukuok island uh, i think it was vietjet uh, and it was there, so, there are many flights. so affordable. It was like $20 flight from Ho Chi Minh to Fukuoka. Very affordable. There are, so many, there are many flights. Low cost airlines. We, we have a flight from Hanoi to Fukuoka. We have flight from Ho Chi Minh to Fukuoka. And we are so from the other local destination to Fukuoka. It means that Fukuoka is very open and very. It's uh, a great beach destination. Yes, yes, yes. And a little scooter, beach, you go around, you're, you're free. And uh, very good uh, tourism products and services that offer to the tourists. Uh, you can have the enter entertainment here, you can have the shopping paradise here, you can be, uh, enjoy the beach here, 
you can enjoy the sports and games here, many things for you to discover. You can uh, go, uh, uh, go fishing, and go with the locals, or discover the mountains, uh, discover the uh, national park. Many activities for you to, to see, to discover, not only in Fukuoka, but also other destinations. We can have a variety of products and, and services uh, to in offer. In a normal year, when it's uh, not this uh, strange pandemic going on, but uh, in a normal year, every passport is welcome? The whole world can in, come in to Vietnam? Fukuok, in Fukuok, the government applied a very special policy that allow all the people from all national to go there without visa every in 30 country. days. Every country. The whole world? Yes. Doesn't matter where you're from, as long as yes. you can find a flight, you can yes, be welcome yes, to yes, come to yes, yes. Fukuok. And the rest of Vietnam is also quite open, but not as much as um, this is uh, This is a special policy for Fukuok and uh, for the other countries we have, the po for, for other destinations. We have, for example, we have the policy to, uh, to, uh, to, to apply the visa-free scheme for the, some European countries, for ASEAN and some Asia-Pacific countries, uh, which, uh, which, uh, in which the, uh, the markets are big for Vietnam, such as the Japan or Korea or, or yes, uh, there are some examples I'd like to show you. And uh, for some European countries, such as the Germ Germany, or France or Spain and, uh, and we are also on the process of planning for opening up for more uh, visa-free uh, program for more tourists. Uh, yes, this is uh, how, we are, uh, how we are looking for and how we develop the tourism because the government believe and uh, the government apply the policy to develop the tourism into the spearhead economic sector. It means that it considers tourism as a very important one that can con contribute very great to the economic development of the country and also to provide a job, provide a um, well-being for the local communities. The local community can involve, can be benefited from this process and they can develop the local communities. There are many good benefits from tourism development. And there's, there's also uh, there's many Vietnamese people living all around the world. Yes. And uh, they all stay connected with their country, right? Yes, Somehow. Yes, very well. Yes. Uh, the number of uh, Vietnamese people living abroad is a very big one. And uh, our government believes that and always uh, provide a policy and always consider this uh, Vietnamese community as a member of Vietnamese family. So that we always support, we always uh, carry, out, carry out a program to assist uh, the Vietnamese community living abroad to get uh, well and to, uh, to get well, to enjoy the cultural life of uh, cultural life, cultural uh, activities of Vietnam. Every year, the Ministry of Culture, Sport and Tourism in Vietnam organize a lot of cultural activities, such as the Vietnam Cultural Days or Vietnam Cultural Tourism Days or Week in foreign countries. We invited the Vietnamese uh, uh, community living abroad to come here to enjoy the songs, enjoy the music about Vietnam, to enjoy the traditions of Vietnam. And we also have two uh, fra uh, to cultural center of Vietnam in foreign countries, one in uh, Laos and one in France, in which uh, they organize a lot of, for example, uh, Vietnamese uh, language teaching class of the Lunar New Year Festival uh, to support to uh, to support the people in uh, the people living abroad, Vietnamese people living abroad, to enjoy the atmosphere like home, and also the embassies of Vietnam in foreign countries also organize many cultural activities, many supporting activities to assist uh, the Vietnamese people living abroad in many cases, in many, uh, in many fields, so that they uh, can be, uh, can, they can, they can be grow, grow, grow stronger. And especially in Czech Republic, uh, the Vietnamese community become the 13th uh, 13 ethnic group of this country. This uh, reflects that uh, the Vietnamese community contribute, living in Czech Republic, contribute very much to the development of the country and consider as an uh, ethnic group of the country, of the Czech Republic. Uh, sometimes um, I see stuff about, uh, I don't know if it's uh, uh, hard drives or certain uh, electronic components made in Vietnam uh, that are being sold all, all over the world and yes. also uh, closing Right? Uh, is it uh, some stuff like uh, snack, uh, sneaker shoes and stuff like that? Uh, uh, but uh, I, what I wonder is, uh, do the minimum salary keep growing for yes, everybody yes, in yes, Vietnam? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah? 
uh, the, of course, the government pay very much attention to the well-being of our people. We, uh, we, we, uh, we have the Ministry of uh, Social Affairs uh, and work and police to take care of, uh, the, of the laborers, to take care of the, uh, of the people that are affected by the war in the past, and also uh, to provide a social policy for them to assist them. And uh, the government also provide many, uh, many, many policy to assist in terms of salaries, in terms of assistance to the laborers, and also for the workers. And especially in the COVID-19 time, uh, the government provide many sources, provide a lot of funds to assist the, the workers, uh, the worker with no job or the worker affected by the by the COVID-19 pandemic. They are all uh, assisted, and uh, also the local government and uh, and the and the charity uh, association also provide a lot of support for the laborers and for the people that cannot come back home because of COVID-19. And uh, there are many very good uh, examples in, in that case. And on, uh, the, I'd like to show just one example. There, there's one engineer, that uh, uh, one young man, with the initiative of ATM Rice, Rice ATM. It means that in the very, uh, in, in the very, very poor area, the, some people even cannot afford to buy the rice. It means uh, at that time, uh, this young man came up with the idea of uh, ATM rice. It means that the, it will, it will uh, instead of money, it will come out with rice, kind of very good support for the, for the poor people who cannot afford that. And uh, with that initiative, the young man got a lot of uh, support from the communities. Many bring the rice here to support the ATM rice and many open and widen and open more destination for ATM rice so that people with uh, difficulties in terms of affording, affording the rice will get this support so that they can, uh, they can go very well with the COVID-19 pandemic. They can uh, easily uh, pass this difficult time in the, of, the, of, the, of the years and then they can, after that they can uh, have the opportunity to come back to job, to find out more opportunity to earn the, the money. And this is very good uh, solution, very good initiative, uh, together with others, to support the people, to support the community, to support the laborers. Uh, because uh, it's important to, uh, to work as hard as possible to lift uh, the poor people out of poverty and have yes. economic equality. Um, uh, this is happening in that direction. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. As I told you that this is a policy of the government to improve the living standard of the people in many ways. This is the general policy. And, uh, in, and after this general policy, we we'll come up with a concrete and specific policy. For example, to assist the, uh, the people with, uh, with disabled, disabled people, we, uh, we uh, open uh, the companies that uh, work uh, to assist, to provide the work, the job for the disabled people and uh, we can provide, uh, we organize, uh, we, we establish the association that, sub, that directly support the disabled people and we uh, also, uh, we, we also uh, come up with uh, initiative with, with a project with the support of international organization uh, to support the disabled people and also the, we also support the, um, the old people the old people in terms of the medical treatment, in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of, uh, go, uh, of uh, taking care of the, uh, the health of the old people, and also the children. The children, we have uh, the International Children's Day, and uh, with a lot of policy, a lot of good care for the children, good care in terms of education, good care in terms of medical health, and uh, yes, uh, the other policy for the other, uh, the other, uh, the other uh, communities in the society. And uh, we are going very well with the policy of the United Nations in terms of leaving no one left behind. No one will be left behind. It means that we take care of all people, especially the people with uh, disable or the disability or the people that are poor or the people that are, cannot get afford to, 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 to the, uh, yes. This is the way how, how we are doing, how the policies are going.